In this video, I'm going to show you how to turn an 8-bar idea or a loop into a full song in three simple steps. Plan, draft, refine, and you make it every time. I'll be using Ableton Live, but this method will work in any DAW out there. Now, first, here's my 8 bars. It's a rough that I'll extend, I'll copy, I'll get creative with, and I'll apply automation, and I'll be turning into a complete song. I'm using a certain product called a Ranger King. Let me show you. At the top, I've made an empty MIDI track, and I call it Guide Track. It has no instruments, and it has no effects. I'll add a Ranger King to that Guide Track. And here comes step one. Plan. I like to use Arena King's color-coded building settings, so I'll set it up to use color codings first. And since I'm working with parts that are all 8 bars long, I'll be looking for an arrangement template with 8 bar sections and a reasonable overall length. As I'm browsing through the templates, I can see how long my song will be based on the template that I choose. You can just edit the template to fit your needs. Once I'm ready, I'll click this icon and I'll drag drop a visual representation of the chosen arrangement into the guide track. How about that? That's it. The video could just end here. If you prefer working the way you usually do, this feature alone can save you a ton of time. However, I'd like to show you step two. In this step, you could copy parts and repeat for the sections like verse and the drop or the build up and whatever. And you can also do it the other way around and just copy everything out and then start muting parts where you don't want them to play until it all sounds good. But either way, this is actually where most people get stuck. And frankly, I think it's because these methods demand too many clicks and dragging and dropping for something as simple as, you know, let the bass play in all verses. No, don't let the bass play in all the verses. Let the synth play in all verses. No, don't let the synth play in all verses, etc. Because that's what you want to do in this phase. And this is why Arranger King has a tool to help with that. I have already pasted all the parts out, so they're all playing all the time. I'll set Arranger King up to mute new tracks by default before I'll be placing Arranger King on all the tracks. Now, when I hit play, there's no sound. It's now just one click to make a part play in, for example, all verses or all breaks or whatever section you choose, or make it not play in all verses or all breaks or whatever you choose. One click. This is exactly the moment where you need to work fast and exactly where traditional editing would take so many more clicks. If you decide that you don't want the percussion that you have here and you want to replace it, you just swap out the original with the new sound. So I'm using audio loops here, but the same works with media and everything. It makes it extremely simple to take your project from a rough idea to a full song. And since it's not destructive editing, you can keep tweaking everything into complete new arrangements just with a few clicks. And here comes step three. Refine. Now that you've gone from 8 bars to a full rough draft with a start and an end, it's time to add details that aren't really looped. And that's it. Plan, draft, refine, and you make it every time. Because now you have a complete arrangement and you have all the details set and you're just free to work with structure. You can do anything I did here with the free version that you can download online from arrangeking.com. Have fun, thank you. And oh, here is my track, here we go.